Governor, you, when it comes to Congress, though, you've, you've pretty much had it with both parties in, in terms of the stimulus talks and this continuing delays and nothing getting done, right? You're ready to throw all the bums out. Uh, fire them all. I mean, I, I really mean that sincerely. No one in, in the Senate or Congress can say that they've shown leadership on the COVID crisis. What have they done since March? Like literally nothing. They made a lot of promises, but they've literally done nothing. No leadership, no innovation, no challenging the system, right? They've kind of thrown their hands up and walked away from the whole thing. They said they were going to do some stimulus. They walked away. Look, I, I just say, uh, put it this way. Would the country be better or worse off if you replaced all 535 of them today? I think, I think the odds say would probably be a little bit better, right? Because you get the political nonsense out of the picture. You get all of that, that things that have just clogged the system up so badly. It's like you got a, a pipe that is so clogged, all the Drano in the world ain't going to clean it. you got to cut the pipe out and start again. And I think that's what you're going to see over the next few uh, campaign cycles here. I think the people of America are sick and tired of nothing. You've got to manage. You've got to move the ball forward. You have to show leadership in some way. They've done virtually nothing. So I think we're going to get a stimulus package after the election, probably in early 21. I think it'll, it'll if, it, if the Democrats are in there, it's going to be an astronomical amount of money. We'll see what happens. But at the end of the day, flexibility to the states, flexibility to the states. Trust us, as governors, we know what we're doing. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.